Hi, Paul Giannos here with uh, Connecticut Advanced Water Systems up in Richmond, Virginia. We get a lot of questions about uh, the brine drum, the salt drum, where you're putting your salt in on a water softener system. And uh, I wanted to help explain that using some nice props that we've got that are uh, actually functioning clear models so you can see right through them. So the Kinetico salt drum is a little bit different than a regular salt drum. They both have salt, uh, but inside the Kinetico, uh, there is a brine valve assembly, which is inside this, uh, we call this the brine well. It's usually a white plastic tube that goes down in there instead of clear. Uh, and there's a tube that connects this liquid to your unit uh, somewhere. So this tube can do two purposes. It can actually pull out salt water, brine, and it is used for the cleaning process during a water softener's regeneration. Uh, but then once it pulls it out, it needs to put it back. So at the end of that cycle, the unit will actually push water back into, this, uh, into the brine drum and it will raise the water level up until this float that you see in here goes up and actually closes off the opening, just like a toilet float. Uh, that's why your toilets don't just continue to overflow on, on the floor unless there's a big problem. Uh, so the float controls the high level of the water. Your water should typically be really close to the bottom. Uh, and this is actually on this tabletop is about where most of the bottom of the brine drums would sit. So your water is usually less than 10 inches uh, off the bottom of the drum. So if you see a lot of water in your salt drum, that's probably an issue and you need to call your dealer. Uh, when it's pulling that salt water back out, we already know what the high level is, but it will actually draw it out until it drops and no more water is spilling over of that black. Uh, it's hard to see, but there is a, a, a black tube in the middle with some cutaways and specific amount of salt dosing requires a certain amount of cutaways to be removed. And the water keeps overflowing until it gets to the point where it's even and that's the low level. So pretty much if you can imagine the top of this hasn't been trimmed, but you're looking at basically about this much salt water is all that this unit would use for a regeneration. Uh, the other units, the electric ones, they use uh, salt water and salt, but instead of having a, uh, a low level overflow, they just pull out based on time. So a lot different how those floats work. You can't use the same float in somebody else's system or vice versa. Uh, but that is why the Kinetico brine valve is unique and different. Uh, it's just one more component that ensures the highest efficiency possible in, in uh, regenerating your softener. Thanks.